Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're going to be looking at a uh, Rough Rider Black Appaloosa Spades uh, slip joint, which you guys already know. You've seen the title. Uh, it's the Capital Intern. We'll talk about it in a second. I'm going to give you an update on what I've been carrying this week. So this is uh, the knife I was carrying. This is a little case pen knife. This is from 1989. And check out the blade on this one. It's got this really cool little blade. And I'll tell you what, this is just razor sharp and just the neatest little knife, I swear, uh, that I have. It is a pen knife. This is in the uh, case stainless steel. Like I said, it's from uh, 1989. You have your other blade on this one. This is the 62033. This is a, a jigged uh, black Delrin which I really like that. Uh, I think it's it's kind of cool to have some uh, jigged uh, Delrin. I think that uh, gives a, a really nice grip. I really like this little shield that's on there. Uh, just love these little knives. And this is part of my uh, small summer uh, collection. So this is what we're, what we're doing next week. I will have a different one, but really nice uh, pen blade. Uh, love these knives because they just disappear in the pocket and they are good to go. Lots of good snappability on this one. Just really, really like it. I can see why these knives are so popular. Uh, and definitely I'll be exploring uh, some more. So we have a long, hot summer, as it seems, uh, going on. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be in the, uh, the 100 teens, uh, all this uh all this week and so uh it is definitely going to be uh very very hot uh summer indeed go ahead and set that aside uh here's the box uh as you guys know the rough rider boxes this is their uh 30th anniversary of uh, rough rider was this uh family we're looking at the rr2489 which is the capital intern uh, let me set that back up there. As long as it doesn't grab too much of the focus, uh, we'll be okay. Because you know how these uh, phones are. But the knife we're looking at is here. Uh, so here is the Capital Intern. And it does have that nice uh, ace of spades or just a spade uh, for the shield, which I, I really like that. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. But you see the uh, black Appaloosa bone. Now, one of the things I noticed is on the uh, pile side, not so much. The bone didn't take very much. It's it's pretty much a gray, uh, kind of a mottled uh, look, but you know, that's the way natural materials are. As you can see, these have the uh, black underliner, uh, which is uh, beneath each of the covers. And we have match strike pulls on both sides. Uh, this is in 440 stainless. Now they did have the different uh, kind of a, the bar and shield uh, tank stamp which uh, mirrors what's on the box so that is different than most uh, Rough Riders. And here is the uh, 440A in your model number and country of origin. Now in the description they called this uh, kind of a sheep's foot blade. I think it's just a drop point myself. Very nicely done has a swedge out on the end. Now this knife you can get all four fingers on. We're looking at a uh, three and a quarter inches closed on this particular one. On your main blade, it's uh, two and an eighth inch for the uh, cutting edge, uh, two and a half inches to the bolster. Uh, nice pointy little dot, uh, dot, drop point. Easy for me to see, see, say. <laughs> Wow, maybe I should have another cup of coffee before I start these things. Uh, but yeah, it's just a really neat little pen knife. Now this little blade definitely is a sheep's foot or a worn cliff, however you want to do it. It does have quite a strong uh, pull, but I think it's because you just don't get very much. Now this is kind of a, a broomstick uh, type warny or sheep's foot. Uh, you can grab it, but as you can see, this one's really, you're, you're only going to be using the point uh, pretty much because it's just kind of a short blade. Uh, you have a one and one eighth inch uh, cutting edge 
one and a half from the point to the uh, bolster. Of course, you have your nickel silver bolsters and pins uh, and the spade shield. Uh, you do have ringed bolsters, which I think are very classy uh, indeed. And it weighs 2.2 ounces. Now to compare this to the uh, Senator, which I have one of those also. Uh, now you can see again with the uh, black Appaloosa, how this kind of took a different color here, but then on the pile side, it's just, you know, pretty much just gray. Uh, really interesting how the, uh, how they did take the uh, uh, colors, the bone on this, you know, but that's what happens with natural materials. Now this guy, definitely a uh, fat cat. This one's also on two springs. You got your brass liners and all that stuff. But just to compare, the uh, the Senator, uh, which I have shown in another video, you get the full spear point, which is really pretty nice. And then for your secondary blade, again with the uh, little sheep's foot uh, slash Warncliffe blade, just slightly larger. So this one definitely is a little bit bigger, but not by much. Uh, definitely, this is a slimmer package. This one's taller. Uh, they are, you know, pretty thick little little guys, that's for sure. But definitely worthy of uh, doing some, uh, some serious work. All right, guys. Well, that's it for these uh, Rough Riders. I got some more in the Appaloosa Bone series, which uh, we will look at in the future. And I'll keep you updated on the uh, small summer carries but so far i have not missed carrying a uh, a larger knife so just something that you might want to try like i said it, i i did it as a challenge to myself just to uh, kind of focus again on my on my smaller uh knives and then i'm just going to uh continue to to rock that for a while and then we'll see maybe in the uh in the fall i'll go back to a slightly larger carry but we shall see it could be that uh, a summer of comfort would be uh, just what I need and that uh, that may continue on through the fall, but, uh, but we'll see. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this one. I hope you have a great weekend. Uh, we will have, I think, a full crew for the live show on Sunday, and I think you guys will enjoy it because we are going to take a look at lockbacks, uh, one of everybody's favorite kind of knives and we have a whole bunch uh, that we can show on that among among uh, the crew that we have uh, there's a whole lot of lockback action so you guys uh, stay tuned for that it'll be fun join us in the chat if you can and we'll see you all in the next one take it easy guys